Hello everybody, and welcome to this episode of Fallout 4, Cry Later Only. In this episode, I'm going to take a booze. But after that I'll be... I'll be heading over here to do some buying and selling and also acquire some fusion cells. Not fusion cells, cryo cells. Acquire some resources for building. That sort of stuff. Hello. Protection. Everyone. Sure. Let's take a look. Okay. Every cryo cell. Thank you very much, buddy. Oh shit, I had a lot of stuff. I was carrying a fat man with me the whole time. Where did I even get that fat man though? Oh, I got it on at Green Tech Genetics. Okay. I'll give you all of those. And a melon because sure. Give you some of those. And one of those. Let's see. Those were from the guy. That's all of that. Give you those. Do I have any pre-war money? I have nine. Well, you know what they say about nine pre-war money? That's nine pre-war money. I was carrying a mini nuke with me for no reason. Oh joy. And no. I'll be good with all that. Let's see, let's go to her so I can you again. sell the rest of my all stuff. Right. Got plenty of supply. Let's see what you got. Here's what we Okay. She'll also have a couple of cryo no she won't. Zero cryo cells, lovely. Well, let's just completely saturate you. Okay. Now, which resources do I think I'll need? I reckon gears for one. I might have plenty of the stuff, but ceramic, sure. There we go. Oh yes. Oil is probably useful. Copper is going to be good. Sure. Rubber as well. I don't know if I need any adhesive though. That sorcery ceramics all Take that too. Glue, some of that. One of those. Um, I'll take some aluminium just because. Yes, please. I don't think I need any silver. I'll take one of. Th hmm. I'll take a ceramic. I don't need a copper. I, I don't need that much copper, I should say. Let me spring, so. I'll just pipe everything else with steel in it. Or other stuff, I guess. Still overdoing it, huh? I guess I'll buy some of this stuff, I guess. There we go. Now let's go head over here, crank okay. down everything into cooked traps. stuff. Real nice. God, even the sky is Did you see that? That six death torment that I have just because. 
two of those, seven of those. One of those, two of those, one of those. Nothing else. And I could also totally crank down some of my other items, but I'll, I'll leave that for when I'm running low on Psycho Jets and Buff Tats. We've got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scopes, clip sizes, barrels. Now that that's done, the thing to do is to go into here and pick out everything we might... Oh. Either that's reset, or we've already picked out everything. Either way, let's head out. What's my reserve? A lot. Okie dokie. Okay. Now that that's done, we just gotta run all the way back to the railroad without giving much of a crap about any enemies who might come across the way. Um, and I guess I could take a look at the items in that actual location. See if any of them are worth carrying with me. But the way this is going to go is basically ooh, yoink. basically what happens is you go to the railroad they're like okay you have all the stuff let's build this in a location um, so you head to some location you build the teleporter well no you don't, you don't build the teleporter you build the reflector plat yeah, yeah, reflector platform. Reflector. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. So you build the reflector platform. And... And then you have to run all the way back to the railroad. Let's activate this location. Because why not? It's a free location, so it's not going to hurt us. All those raiders are probably very, very scared about stuff. Um, yeah, so he... Oh, actually, because I haven't act done... Shadow of Steel yet. Uh, the quest is actually pointing me towards the Cambridge Police Station in, in terms of like. Hmm, don't mind if I do. Can I take all those goodies? I should be sprinting more just to. Have this not be slow. Uh, but because this whole thing is going to require a lot of running around, I haven't got rid of those guys yet. No. You should not have stood in my way. Pick that guy's stuff and head on. And this is Faneuil Hall. I got a bad feeling about this. I'm just going to go this way. Because there might be a suicide around there. And suicide is really a, as this sort of character. Yep. Oh, that's just that was just the um, super mutant firing at the ghouls over there. We're fine. 
I mean, to be honest, we might actually be fine. If we're this tanky. Um, j just... Even if we, like, take a direct hit from, from Missile Launcher. That's not something that I want to chance, though. But... Still, it's an okay thing. Glad you're with us. Okay. Do you need something? I have plans here. So that's... The Institute uses... Signal and Scepter. The Institute could build... This is our... Uh -huh. Okay. So we talk to Tinker Tom. Control. Where is he? Ah, he's over here. Ready to hand over the plans? This is the big one. Hopefully it'll be easier. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The big one? And you can divert the signal using it. Skip to the part where... The plans cover all the... This bit here? Uh, this skip to the chase. Right. Nice work, Tom. Hey, tell that... We can scrounge up. But where to build? Nice work. I know Pam was running. Once you set up the safe house. Or you could build your... Okay, so which was my second character? Yeah, my, my second survival character Up there. to do the railroad ending, which I think... I think that was a mysterious stranger. I'm not sure, but... But I think it was the Mysterious Stranger playthrough. Yeah, uh, unless I'm missing some someone. The Mysterious Stranger was the second um, character to do the r railroad ending. The first being the very, very first character at all. Um... So yeah, when I did the second character, I didn't actually know that you could just, uh, that, that, that you could, okay, that if you had done and obtained the Mercer safe house, I didn't know that you could still Yeah, so I, I didn't know that you could just um, build it anywhere, even if you had done the Mercer safe house. So I was doing the whole run to the settlements, run back, run to the settlements again, whole funny business. But I was doing that with, uh, well, Sunshine, no, not Sunshine, Dang Tidings. Starlight Drive-In, that's the one. So yeah, that settlement. I went all the way backwards and forwards just to build the damn thing. This time we will be building it in... Uh, building it at Hangman's Alley, same as Orgasmo. How does that sound? That almost sounds like somebody is... Weird. Almost sounds like somebody is firing a, um... Silence gun, or a, um... Other thing. Regardless, let's have it head over this way. I could totally actually just head straight in there at some random point. 
pick up the the what's it called? Um, pick up the like canister, the hallucinogen canister, and then have that ready for what's his name. But at this point, I don't think I'm ever going to be returning. Or at least, I don't think I'll ever need to return to Good Neighbor. I probably will anyway, because it's, like, that's one of the three main places where I can obtain the cryo cells. But... Anyway, we're nearly there. Just gotta faff around here a bit. And we're just about there. So I think once I've done... Um, w once I've... Like, built what I can over here. What I'll do is I'll just speed up the next section, like in post. So the thing gets built right about over here. I'll scrap all of this stuff because I may as well. And let's build power. Generators. Yeah, we don't have anywhere near enough aluminium to do any of that stuff. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 25. This would get me up to 28. Or I could just find another copper somewhere. Which I reckon I might have to do anyway. Let's just wire these all together. Actually I'll wire that to that just so they don't clip. Um, and now I'll just pass this off to future me. Welcome back to Squid Plays uh, Bullet 4. Violator only. Episode 20. Um, so you'll immediately notice here that the footage is sped up twice, not four times. That's because the the entire footage that was recorded after the live commentary portion actually only took around uh, 11 minutes. So. Yeah. So basically all that happens here is I'm running uh, back to uh, back to the railroad I think. And I'm running back there in order to tell Tinker Tom about the location that I put the uh, reflector platform down in. So yeah, there's actually not all that much stuff to talk about for, for this section here. Um, yeah, I mean, one thing that was turned out to be very convenient was that I actually had enough resources to build all of the components. Um, like, I, I knew I already had the military grade circuit board and the biometric scanner. Yep. And then. Okay, so here I, I talked to Carrington, but then right then I realised that he hadn't progressed to the part of his speech 
stuff yet. In order for him to become a doctor, so rather than wait and have him talk about all that stuff, I just decided to um, to keep on running and take care of my radiation myself with right away. So. so yeah. Uh, what else? Um, I guess all that all there is to say is that I am just running back to Hangman's Alley here. Like, like I'm not. That's like the fu the last place I visit in this episode. Episode recording. Because again, I had enough resources for all of the components. Uh, the main resource that I was expecting to be lacking in was actually copper. Because when I built the five generators, um, I, I didn't have enough copper for the sixth generator. So, I thought that might have been an issue, but the electrical requirements of everything meant that it was efficient to build a um, build a small generator to make up for the, for the difference. So, all right, here they are. Here I am. So I built the control console over here, the molecular beam emitter, and the relay dish. Then they're wired up. And it's nearly all powered up. All I had to do was build a single more generator, wire it up, and as you see there, it was it was all that was needed. And then right here, I just put away all my heavy items. But you'll see the next in the next episode why that didn't work out as well as I was expecting. So that is going to be it for today's episode. Um, there's not much left because I like leave the power armor and get walk over to the bed to sleep in it. In business. So thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye bye.